Hey guys, so today we're going to try and etch some PCB. Oh, that's hot. What you're going to need is the pattern for your PCB. This will be printed on laser paper, on uh, photo paper with a laser printer. You're going to need some PCB. Ooh, that's hot. Already preheated mine. You're going to need an iron. Gonna need some water, some ferric chloride, and some acetone for cleaning the PCBs up afterwards. You're also gonna need, uh, after you get a PCB done successfully, you gotta drill the holes out. So you're gonna need a very small drill, I believe, a number 80. So preheat your iron and use it to preheat the copper clad board. <clears throat> Cut out your PCB pattern. Place it on your PCB. Hit it with a little bit of water. Now you gotta be very careful to get the iron on right flat. And try not to move the iron at all at the start. Well, it's probably best not to move the iron at all throughout the whole thing. Just wanna put a bit of pressure on there. Maybe just leave it for a few minutes. So after a while, take your iron off. This PCB is going to be very hot. I think I actually burnt into the uh, piece of wood I'm using here. It's a good thing I'm using a sacrificial piece. So. never know how often you use forceps till you actually get a pair. Try and get under a corner of the paper if you can. Doesn't look like it, so this one's going to want to soak in some water. We'll come back after this is soaked for, give it 10 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 15, 15 minutes-ish. I'm going to pull this out. Let's see what it looks like. Paper's still kind of stiff. Yeah, it didn't actually stick. You can see there, there's a whole bunch still left on the paper. So we got a lot of it to stick, but not all of it. So we'll try again. These two can be cleaned and then sanded, and you can try again with these. <coughs> that one's got a bit on it too. I watched a uh, Ben Heck show episode once that uh, actually seemed like he got success from applying a little bit of acetone to the copper clad board before applying the uh, photo paper so we may try that Cut this one up. Preheat the board. 
Wait a few seconds for the board to preheat. I don't have a brush handy. So I'm just going to put some of this on my finger. Ow. And kind of brush it on there. Ow. Right there. Let's Slap that on. Maybe hit it with a bit of water. Uh, maybe not. <clears throat> so, we'll come back in a few minutes and see how this one does. So I'm trying things a little differently this time. Uh, the steam nozzle thing on my uh, uh, iron is broken. So I'm just spraying a whole bunch of water down all around it. This is going to give it a steam effect. So it looked like it was still stuck on this side, so I'm just going to hit this side with some more water. Try and get this side to steam a little more. instead. So, paper's nice and stuck to it. I'm going to toss it in the water again and give it a few minutes see what happens. This is why you want to use wood that you don't really care about. This thing is pretty much destroyed at this point. <laughs> so if we take a quick look here. I'm not going to try and peel this off yet, but it looks, seems like it's working a little better this time. We won't know, of course, until we actually pull the paper off. So, we'll be back in about 10-15 minutes. So we've had this one sitting for about 20 minutes, and it's kind of looking like it might work. To be very gentle with it. Just kind of pick at the paper a little bit. Well, not pick at it, but just rub it away.
get this ow, board wet again. And put it back in the water for a couple minutes, and we'll come back. Okay, so while we're waiting for this one to soak for a couple more minutes, I'm going to throw out another one on. Just going to put that on there. Very carefully. And I'll try something a little different this time. Hold that down. And I kind of move the iron around a little bit. side a bit. I'm going to just set that on there for a little while and go back to this one. Ow, so this is hot water. <clears throat> Sorry. Now I'm going to take my tweezers and just kind of go in between each one. You can see that there. Now we're going to take a close look at the board <coughs> and look for any messed up tracks. A little more paper off there. So we can see up at the top a couple here faded a little bit. So we'll just touch those up very slightly with the marker. Very carefully. And then, it's ready to go in the oven. So if I take a look over here, we have the etching. I'm going to just drop one end of this up since there's not that much in there. Stir it up a little bit. Very carefully. This stuff is corrosive. Ah! Probably gonna melt my heat sink a little bit. I don't really have anywhere to put the fork. And it'll stain the hell out of anything it touches. Including you. Some people say it burns. I haven't really felt any burning yet. I've gotten it on me a few times now. But anyway, this is really pretty much ready to go. So, drop it in. Take that fork. 
poke it in, make, it sh make sure it's underneath the solution. Now we've had this board sitting here out for a while now. I'm going to rub at it a little more. Toss this one in the hot water. Let it sit for a while, and we'll catch you guys in a little bit. So after a little while, just like last time, I'm gonna pull this board out. I'm gonna try and take the majority of the paper off. Take a close look at it. A little bit of paper still left between those two. It looks like it's ready to go in. So if we take a look over here at the etching. We've got this board still in here. Just want to stir it up a little bit. Don't let that flip that way. Hard to get under there. And there's still a bunch of copper on that one. So we'll leave that one in there. And now that this one's done, we'll just add that in too. Now I need to get two more good ones. Those two are for me, two are for somebody else. <clears throat> so take another board. And I'll put that one aside for now. We'll take another board. This is a little piece of sandpaper. I think actually first I'm going to acetone this. So what I did last time was after I sanded it, and I hit it with some acetone. Clean off any particles. And without touching the face, I set it down. Reheated it.
times. Ow! Now that's preheated. Put that on there like that. Left that on there for a few minutes. So while we leave that on there for a few minutes, let's check on these. Oh, it's got plenty of copper on it. Stack up on my air. And that's what I mean by my camera likes to stop. Anyway, neither of them are really close to being done yet. Separate those. Put them back in there. Come back to this in a bit. All right, so we're almost done here. We got these two in here. This one's etching along nicely. You can see all the copper around the edge is missing. This other one's just getting started. Just the very edge is missing. <coughs> And if we look back over this way, we've got this one ready to go out into the water. This one ready to come out of the water, hopefully. So this one looks like it's ready to go in. So we look over here. And just drop it in. Make sure it's under the surface. And let's see if this last one's ready. Probably not. I just put it in here. But you never know. This seems to be a good method. And we're good. 
poate sună. Check on the first ones. That one's almost done. Just a bit of copper in between there. And that one's starting to get there. And then of course We just put this one in like two minutes ago, so it's not done. So we'll come back when they're all done. All right, guys. So looks like we have a board done. All the copper is gone. That looks good to me. So, well, let's check on the other ones. Looks like that one's done as well. Yep. The other two are not. Okay guys, so after all that, we've ended up with five Pretty decent, and that one's kind of the worst one. Five nice PCBs. I think like to smudge under the fiberglass, but not gonna affect the circuit at all. Anyway. Alright guys, so that worked out pretty good. We got some boards here. Got 
got the holes all drilled out. And we're going to put one of these together quickly. Put everything aside. Bring in our helping hands. And what we're going to do is put this LED bar graph on here. So... <clears throat> so we get the board on there. Maybe the bar graph on there. Just double check that's where it's supposed to go. And now we're going to solder it. So I'm going to heat up the pad and the pin and just feed some solder in. I'll do that for each pin. Quick and dirty like that. Now I'm gonna need ten resistors. <clears throat> it's gonna be 220 ohm. So now we got the pins in, we're going to do this last little solder job here, and we are done. Probably want them about there. And I'm going to carefully come in from the top. Up, oh, there's our finished board. All 
Alright guys, this has been a quick look at DIY PCB manufacturing. We started with a blank copper clad board. We etched our pattern onto that board. Now we have our finished product. This process can be done in a day. I don't have a drill press handy, I had to go somewhere to actually use one. So it took me two days to actually complete this process. I did all the etching yesterday and I got the holes drilled out today and was able to solder it and five minutes. Anyway, like, subscribe, comment, dislike if you really want to, I guess. All that YouTube stuff, guys. See you later.